My dive store says that the safe second is useless. You know, I'm going to tell them. Well, <laughs> your dive store owner is wrong. I mean, first of all, and secondly, it's not useless. And, and, and secondly, he must be very, very old if he thinks that. Because any diver trained since, oh gosh, since the middle, mid 1990s has been trained to use the safe second. This is my textbook from when I you know, took the scuba diving course at the YMCA <laughs> in Peterborough, uh, 1960, in the old days. Mm -hmm. If you ran out of there, then you would swim over to your buddy. There's a picture right here, Kevin. You would swim over to your buddy. You see this? <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? And you'll notice, first of all, <clears throat> that the guy on the bottom is wearing an old two-hose regulator. Yeah, old Mike Nelson style. And you see that his buddy up above him, for some reason or other, is out of air. It was called buddy breathing back in the day. Now, one guy said, this is stupid. Why don't I give him his own? regulator. So that's what he did. Here's a standard hose and, say, and, and, and second stage. So this very smart young man, what he did was he simply attached another one to his regulator, to his first stage. So now here's the second one. So he had two of these. What do you need two for? Well, maybe he was a big talker. No, you don't need two. But he was a pretty smart guy because this one went into his mouth and the other one just used, used, to, used to just hang there. It just hang down beside the tank. And then if his buddy ran out of there, he would say, hey, grab that one. You ain't getting this one. You see, it solves several problems. If you don't take it out of your mouth, you don't have to worry about getting it back. <laughs> it didn't come out. Secondly, you each have your own regulator, so now you can <sighs> relax for a few seconds and then slowly go to the surface. So a lot of problems were eliminated by this, this neat idea by that diver whose name I have forgotten. I probably knew him. <laughs> That's just a joke. So that, that was the very first safe second. And we, we used to look at the uh, regulators and we'd see this hose and that hose and this hose and now and now. And the regulator looked like a, looked like a, a gosh, it looks like an octopus. There you go. And so we actually called this the octopus. Now it is called, perhaps more accurately, the safe second. That is, it's a second stage, not your primary, but it's a second stage, almost exactly the same, see? It's a second stage that is for safety. So calling it the safe second, it's a good idea. I call it the octopus. I'll understand what you're saying. Good idea, right? Now, as this idea caught on, because this guy that thought this up in the first place and told his buddies at the dive club about it and they all started trying it and loving it, as it caught on, people said, you know what, you know what the problem is? When I give this to my buddy, he's right there, right beside me. It's just a short little 27 inch hose. That's how long these hoses are, roughly. And he's right there, I'm on the tank and I got, and he's right there banging into me and I can't see him very well and, and the bubble all's over there and play. I'm going to see if I can't find a longer hose. So they went to the local automotive store and they found a piece of uh, 7 16 hose with the right fittings, but it's a little bit longer, about six inches longer. Put it on, wow, that was a great idea. Was, Whoo, what a good idea, yeah. Longer hose, so the guy, so, so your buddy who's out of air, he can pick this up and stick it in his mouth, and you can sit there and look at him and say, what a dummy, <laughs> as you relax and just decide to head back to the surface. So that, that, was, that became another characteristic of a safe second. It has a longer hose. Well, there were other things that came along as well, some good and some bad. Next, somebody said, you know, this is hanging on the side there with that long hose. It's banging around my leg. It gets caught in my fins. So I think I'm going to fasten it up. So they actually came out with a, a little rubber clip decor that's, that fastened with a strap to the side of your tank. And the hose, safe second, snapped right in there. Yeah, that was good. It was good for a couple of reasons. First of all, it stopped this thing from banging around. Secondly, if your buddy did need it, he knew where it was. It was in the clip. So he came over, clip it off, put it in his mouth, and save himself. Just that simple. So that was the uh, that was another development with the with the safe second. <clears throat> now we're getting up into the late seventies, and these uh, safe seconds octopus they were becoming very very common. In fact, some of the manufacturers started to uh, to add them uh, to their line of Scooby equipment. So when you bought a regulator, 
first and second stage, then you could, if you wanted to, you could optionally buy a safe second. Today, all regulators have them. But in the, in the 70s, end of the 80s, they were still optional. So then you would go and you would pick up a, a, a safe second and the guy, the dive store owner would fasten that on there. Uh, but there were other changes as well. One thing they noticed, one, one fellow came along and he said, you know, this one is in my mouth like this and it works really, really well. But when my buddy goes to grab it <clears throat> from my clip and <clears throat> picks it up, it's, this is facing him. He has to turn it around and the hose gets twisted. And I, you see, that wastes time. And he's already upset because he's out of air and he's trying to get this thing. He ends up with it upside down and this hits his mask and he gets water. Doesn't So why, why don't we change, why don't we make these with a left hand? Yeah, here's a picture, you'll see one here. It's left-handed. Yeah, normally, <clears throat> This is in your mouth, like so, and the hose almost invariably comes in, in fact, oh, invariably, comes in from the right side. That's a standard second stage. But they made a left hand second stage, yeah. So in the left hand, the hose came in from this side, you see, so the doctor could pick it up and pop it in his mouth. No fuss, no muss, no bother. And it got to be pretty popular. People, gosh, this is a really good idea. And then <clears throat> somebody else said, well, you know what? I love this thing, but what I did, I got a can of bright, bright yellow paint and I sprayed the second stage so that my buddy would be able to see it. If he's over there and all of a sudden he's, he, he's, he's having a problem with his regulator, he comes swimming over to me for some help. He's going to see this bright yellow thing and grab it. So it looked like this. Yeah. You see, and that was great. So it's a standard second stage, but now it's sprayed bright yellow. This is what you see today when you walk into a dive store, isn't it? A safe second sprayed yellow. Great idea. And then somebody else said, well, you know what? Let's make the whole darn hose yellow. Why don't we do that? So now you see what we have here is a modern, today's version of the safe second. Standard second stage, long hose, and bright, visible, bright yellow, bright yellow mouthpaste. In this case, it's even added yellow bite tabs, whatever. But it's bright, long hose, easy to reach, easy to deploy. Other small changes as well along the way. The, the tab that was on the tank that Decor made, it worked, but it wasn't great. First of all, <clears throat> it was on the tank, could be hard to find, getting it off would be a bit of a nuisance. And divers in a real panicky mode, right of air, they might not think, oh, it's on the tank. So what they do now, the modern deployment method for most safe seconds is to use a clip right in the middle of your chest, right here. So there your safe second hangs. So your second stage is you're diving with, goes here, let's go diving. And the whole time, right here in the middle of your chest, is your safe second. If your buddy has a problem, he comes over, takes it, and starts breathing from it. You may not even know he did it, for God's sakes. If you're busy taking a picture down there, breathing, and your buddy's out of air, he, help, 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 he swims over, he sees that big yellow hole, oh, oh, thanks for saving me. And then you turn and say, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just making up scenarios here, but that's important. It's important to make up scenarios, possibilities of what can happen. 15 years ago, this particular design for a safe second was changed. Now, a lot of divers, a lot of dive stores still use it. This is still a very standard safe second. It looks just like this. However, if you look around, you'll see what I call slimline because the slimline safe second was called slimline by one of the first companies to, to develop it, Oceanic. Big company, still around, big, big company. And you go on to Oceanic <clears throat> and uh, uh, look for slimline. And what you'll find is a really neat I got a picture over here for you. A really neat design. And what it is, it looks just like this. Yellow hose, bright yellow. It was very, very thin. Not big and wide like this one. Very, very thin, hence slimline. So it hangs there, okay? And then when the buddy comes over, he takes it out, pops in his mouth. Takes it up, saves himself. And it doesn't even matter if he has it backwards. You just pick it up, stick it in your mouth. So hand, grab the hose, stick it in your mouth. So there's no, oh, where's the mouthpiece? There's no fumbling. The only other thing I want to add 
is uh, we did talk, and you might want to go back, Kevin will have a, a link there, to adjusting the safe second uh, so it doesn't free flow, because it's another safe second, so it could free flow a little bit as well, start hissing and wasting air. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to mention is that a lot of divers, and it's perfectly fine, I do not tell divers what to do. All I can do is make suggestions, okay? My personal opinion is that the safe second should be as simple as possible. Simple, really simple. A couple of reasons for that. First of all, it's more reliable. If you have a good quality, high performance, we'll call it safe second for your primary, uh, uh, second stage for your primary breathing instrument, it can be as complicated as you want. You need all those special features, that's just fine. Keep it well-tuned, well-adjusted, well-serviced, it's just fine. But for the safe second, which is gonna be used very seldom, hopefully, and only an emergency, quick, easy supply of air, keep it simple. You don't need venturis or all kinds of adjustments. i tell you something, if I'm on a dive with someone like Kevin, as an example, which would never, ever happen, because I value my life. <laughs> if I was on a dive with Kevin, and he happened to run out of air, which is very likely, <laughs> If I was on a dive with somebody and they ran out of air and they came over and they took my safe second and I said, okay, you're fine now? All right, let's go up safely. And we start to go up and halfway up, he says, hold on, hold on. I want to adjust. The breathing is not perfect. I would probably take it back. <laughs> I said, come on, you got air from my tank. You're fine. Let's get to the surface. The point, you see my point? Keep it simple. More reliable and you don't need all those adjustments to make it complicated. Anyway, there's some thoughts, a little bit about the history of safe, second, safe seconds, a bunch of pictures there that Kevin's put on that you can look up yourself, Google and look them up yourself, about the, those developments and where we sit today. Anyway, some of my thoughts on the idea. Think it over. Don't just uh, dismiss it out of hand. Think it over a little bit first. There you go. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. I hope you enjoyed that. hope there's something in there for you, and we'll talk to you soon. Dive Source Scuba in Whitby. Yeah, great story. Talk to you soon.